minutes. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> and um, let me take the opportunity to also congratulate you on, on your chairship. Um, I appreciate very much this personal note. That's a very, very a nice uh, touch and a nice start. And I look forward to welcoming you to a site visit to the uh, tropical forests of our country. I know you're familiar with the other forests, but I think you need to understand the tropical forests. So uh, we look forward to that. And I also want to take the opportunity to uh, uh, welcome my uh, fellow members uh, from the islands. Um, it's interesting that we have representation on this committee uh, from Samoa, uh, from Puerto Rico, from Guam, um, uh, from the Northern Marianas, and yes, uh, from Alaska, because Alaska is the largest island. And uh, this is uh, the Island Caucus. Uh, we are the first and last line of defense against uh, continental-centric uh, thinking on this committee and this Congress. So uh, don't mess with the islands uh, when it comes to that. And, and speaking of which, um, Mr. Chair, I, I appreciate your assurance, but I think that this amendment um, is necessary. Uh, for two reasons. I think, I think first, and by the way, I would say uh, that to your comments, um, I really, really regret uh, that the whole issue of whether uh, there should or shouldn't be, uh, you know, remote witnesses or remote voting or whatever, it, whatever the case may be, has become uh, embroiled um, and caught up really in, in a highly partisan debate over the pandemic um, because it obscures uh, really a more rational uh, review and investigation and conclusion set about whether and to what extent we do allow uh, participation uh, remotely. Now, I'm not going to get into the proxy voting in this context. Um, and um, certainly, I don't feel, uh, you know, the need to have any sympathy applied, you know, to my situation being from an island uh, uh, six time zones away and 10 hours away. It's not as bad as some of my colleagues. Uh, believe me, I don't feel sorry for myself having to go home uh, to Hawaii, even if it's a long flight. Uh, but the fact of the matter is um, that it is it, this should be about um, this should be about accessibility uh, to Congress. It shouldn't be about a pandemic. It shouldn't be about anything else. It should be about how do we provide accessibility, especially to communities that have a harder time uh, accessing Congress and being available to Congress. Uh, the fact of the matter is that the island communities in our country are harder to get to and from. Uh, it is harder to get witnesses uh, from there to participate uh, personally uh, before Congress. And um, we are talking, uh, when we talk about uh, the indigenous uh, communities of our country, we are talking about some of the communities that are the most disenfranchised, do have the highest uh, degree of difficulty in terms of, of accessing and participating personally in Congress. Um, and I believe that they are entitled to some special uh, consideration. Now, there are situations, obviously, on the continent and elsewhere that, that are comparable. But these communities, uh, whether they be island communities within, with, within the uh, jurisdiction of, of the um, um, uh, you know, uh, Indian and Insular Affairs a Subcommittee, uh, that I think do deserve a special consideration. I think this is about um, us trying to include them as opposed to exclude them. I think... It is about us shifting our focus from our convenience uh, in terms of uh, participation to their convenience in terms of participation. And I think this is uh, simply about um, uh, assuring um, that um, in a situation uh, where a um, you know, possibly a problematic witness uh, uh, that the majority does not particularly want to welcome to the committee can in fact participate, that that uh, degree of difficulty in participating is not, uh, you know, is not uh, somehow utilized as, as an excuse uh, for, for that uh, testimony to be rejected. And so I, I would urge you to uh, give some serious consideration uh, to, to this amendment for, for all of those purposes. I support the amendment. Yield back.